Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'm going to show you guys how to program your passenger side mirror to automatically tilt every time you put it in reverse so it's easier to see curbs or whatever is on that side when you're trying to park. If you're out in the countryside, this is not necessary, but as a lot of our customers and us as well, we're in the city where we park in downtown, parallel parking, it's very tight spaces all the time, so this is very useful when you want to turn it on. Once we program this feature, you can enable or disable it in your center console from your Uconnect radio. So it's not like once you program it, it's gonna be stuck that way. It's just gonna enable the option for you guys, which will look like this, for you to turn it on and off anytime when you wanna enable it. This tutorial will work for you if you already have powered adjustable mirrors on your RAM. So if you have the buttons on your side, so if you have the controls that look like this, which are selecting left, right, power adjustable, tilt and all, and to power fold, this tutorial will work for you. So even if you already have this function on your Ram truck, which is standard on level two packages, I'll show you guys in the second part of this video how to adjust the amount of tilt on your mirrors, whether it's driver or passenger side, when it automatically goes in reverse. Because right now, if your truck already has it, when you put it in reverse, it's set to a certain number. If you wanna increase that tilt or, redu or reduce the tilt, you can't do it on your head unit, but you can do it with Alpha OBD, which I'll show you guys in the second portion of this video. So if you guys already have this function, you can skip to the second part of the programming. But with today, we're gonna to show you guys from the very start, assuming you don't have this already, and we'll show you guys every step along the way, from hardware to software, what you guys need in today's tutorial. So the demo vehicle is a 2020 Ram Rebel. So since this being a 2018 plus Ram, we're gonna need the following hardware. We're gonna need a bypass cable that looks like this. We're gonna need our Alpha OBD, OBD reader, which looks like that. And we also need an Android device or a Windows computer with the Alpha OBD software. Everything I just talked about is available on our website, weekendgarage.com. It's also available in the description below if you guys wanna click right on it. So let's get started on this easy tutorial. So with the fifth gen RAMs, the security bypass module is underneath the dash, which is accessible by just putting your hand under. If you have a classic RAM, which is the fourth gen looking RAM, the one that's been out for a long time, if it's 2018 plus, the security bypass module is behind your radio unit, which will come off with two Phillips screws off the top and the rest is clips. And then for a HD RAM, 2500, 3500 and such. The security gateway module is behind the cluster, which will also come out pretty easily. So all these, if you have any questions, when you do decide to purchase from us, you can email us at info at weekendgarage.com and we can walk you through it if you decide to go that route. So in our 2018 plus vehicle, we're gonna look under the driver's side knee area. We're gonna look up. So as we're looking up, this is the module we're trying to pull out. There's no other ones here, so. We're gonna reach up, press on the quick disconnect right here. Just press down and pull out. Same for the other one. Comes out really easily. These are the two tabs. After that, we're gonna grab these two connectors and plug in our cable. They only go in one way, so there's no way to mess this up. After you've made a successful connection, you should see a red light, which means the product is now powered and ready for us to connect. So now that we've successfully made our connection underneath the dash, we're gonna put our ignition on run without the vehicle turning on. And then we're gonna have a red light on our connection. So now I'm gonna show you guys on the right, so now I'm gonna show you guys on the right side of the screen what I'm gonna be doing so you guys can follow along. So this is what we're gonna do. First of all, on your Android phone, we're gonna pull down the settings and then we're gonna go on Bluetooth. You can go whichever way you want, settings, Bluetooth, or from the pull down as you've seen. Once you're in here, we're gonna scroll all the way down. We're gonna look for the one called Weekend Garage. Click on that. Once you click on it, it's gonna ask you for a pin number. The pin number is one, two, three, four. Fairly simple, and press pair. Once you have the device paired, you're gonna see on the top, Weekend Garage is now a paired device. So now we are gonna go ahead and go to our Alpha OBD app. So in your Alpha OBD app, this is assuming you already have activated your software with us, which 
If you look on the product description where you purchased it, it'll tell you how to activate it. It's very easy. So once you've activated that, we are gonna go ahead and select the Bluetooth button up here. On the top left, my interface, it's gonna say interface not connected right now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that Bluetooth logo. And then we're gonna look for a weekend garage, which for us, it's on the bottom. Click on that, it's gonna say connecting. Now that the status shows that it's connected to Weekend Garage, we're now ready for programming. So we're gonna look for our vehicle of choice, which is a Dodge Ram in the middle left row. Click on that. It's gonna say select car model, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna scroll down. And today, our demo vehicle is a 1500, so we're gonna click on 1500. You can click on the one that suits your vehicle. 1500. And then, we'll, and then we're gonna click on select function. After that, we're gonna scroll down. It is called body computer right there. After you click on body computer, we're gonna click on the third row, select control unit. You're gonna find your year. Ours is a 2020, so we're gonna hit on 2020, hit connect. After you've connected, it's gonna say connected to body control module. And then we're gonna look on the bottom right of the screen. You're gonna see a logo with the hood open. That's the one we're gonna click on. You're gonna click on that logo with the hood open. Your page is gonna look something like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on select procedure to start. Scroll down. And before you start, it's always a good practice to back up whatever you're gonna program. So we're gonna back up our original file, which we have already done so, but when you scroll down to the near bottom here, you're gonna see backup vehicle configuration to file. If this is your first time programming with Alpha OBD, it's suggested that you do so. So hit that, and you can hit start. Once you hit start, it's gonna back up your original file in case you ever wanna flash it back. But if you follow our tutorials step by step and don't go veering off to changing random things you don't know, there will never be a problem. So, assuming you have already backed it up, we're now gonna go ahead and continue programming. So in order to do so, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna look for a car configuration change, which is right here. We're gonna click on that. After that, we're gonna click on select option. So after you click on select option, we're gonna do a search. It's gonna be called mirror. After you find mirror, we're gonna look for doors driver memory mirrors present. So we're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna select value, and we're gonna click yes. We're gonna give it some time. Now it's gonna say procedure completed. If you click it again, the current status of the component is now gonna be selected to yes. So now we know the programming went through successfully, we're gonna move on to the next portion. We're gonna click this part again, driver's door mirror, where we can select a different programming function. We're now gonna select the doors, passenger, memory mirror present. We're gonna click on that, select value, and we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. So after you've done so, it's gonna say procedure completed again. And you can click it one more time just to see the current status. It's gonna be yes, we're ready to move on to the next one. So click on the middle row again where we can select a different programming. We're gonna change the search bar and now we are gonna type in rear. Now we're gonna type in mirror. So we're gonna look for cust.set.menu2, tilt mirror in reverse, CSM present. 
click on that. This program setting is going to enable your option of turning it on or off in your Uconnect radio. So we're going to hit select value and hit yes. So after you do this third programming step, which is the final one, we're going to give it some time, restart your vehicle, let it rest if it hasn't shown up already. But next time you restart your vehicle, when you go into the vehicle settings, which I'll show you guys in a minute, and you go in safety, you're going to see it's going to be part of your safety package. Tilt, mirror, and reverse, enable. So I'm going to hit next again until it accepts the programming. So now the current status of the component, it's going to be yes. We're now finished programming these three steps and your truck is now ready to have the reverse tilt automatically on your passenger side mirror. So I'm going to show you guys where to find it in the Uconnect radio first and then after that I'll show you guys how to select the amount of tilt for your mirror if you already have it or if you want to adjust it after programming this new feature in your truck. So here we are looking at the Uconnect radio. This is Uconnect 5. If you have a 4 or whichever one you have it's going to be similar. We're going to click down here vehicle. If your screen looks different try to look for the same settings. We're just essentially trying to get into the settings menu. Hit on settings and then now we're going to look for this one, safety and driving assistance. You click on that. After a successful program and you've restarted your truck, you're going to see it over here. It's going to say tilt reverse, tilt mirror in reverse. You can enable it by clicking on it. I don't have it right now because I just programmed it, but you will have it here if you've programmed it successfully. After you connect to it, we're going to hit the hood open, select procedure to start and you're going to scroll all the way down, mirror tilt distance on the very bottom. Here you can select the value on how much tilt you want on your other mirror. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. It's a fairly simple programming that you guys can do for your truck as well if you don't have a level 2 package. If you do have a level 2 package you can adjust the amount of tilt as you've seen. So anyways, so anyways, thank you for watching everyone. Let me know if you guys got any questions or what you guys want to see in future videos. Thank you for watching everyone. See you guys in the next one.